let's take a look at uh, our first uh, actual error type uh, in uh, when we're using a result. So you know, uh, you go to uh, if you go to the documentation and uh, you search for error, you can see all these errors. And uh, when you are when you're doing a returning a result in uh, in Rust, let's say uh, return result. Uh, who knows what it'll take, but it'll return a uh, result and let's say um, string uh, if it works and uh, and let's say uh, you know some sort of some sort of error. So what kind of what kind of error is it going to return? Um, and uh, you know each one of these has a different error. So if you were using you know a function that uh, that could return this, then it has to return, uh, you know, this kind of result, um, this kind of error. So this would be like a, you know, a, a rec v error or whatever, and uh, rec v error, uh, something like that. And you know, how do you how do you find that? And I'll show you. Um, I'll give you a tip, and it uh, it involves uh, learning what this uh, turbo fish thing is. And turbo fish is a um, is this you see this in rest a lot it's when you are um, declaring a, a type after after a method and i'll show you how that works we'll use this uh this method called parse and parse is uh so let's say we want to return a uh, a number and uh from a string so we are going or from a stir so we are going to uh input this and so we'll give it something like a five, and then I'll use parse to uh, to turn this into a number if it can. But uh, it returns a result because maybe maybe we tell it five, maybe we tell it uh, you know five. You know uh, we want fifty five, but uh, your cat uh, you know stepped on the keyboard, and uh, so it it's not always going to work. So what you do is uh, you go input dot parse. That is the function. You put this uh, this little thing here, and uh, and that is your that is your uh, way of telling Rust to uh, to parse uh, something into i thirty two. By the way, it's called a turbo fish because uh, you can see it uh, it kind of looks like a fish. So there's the uh, colon colon and the uh, the square brackets there so anyway now input parse is going to send us some sort of result but we don't know you know what's uh what should we write you know result uh obviously i32 but what's this going to be called well the good thing is you uh you can just try it out you just say uh let uh, my number equals return number and let's give it a stir and uh it will not compile because this is wrong, but uh, but it will give us the information. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Whoops, we should probably comment that out. Okay, so here it is. Uh, expected a uh, unit type found enum result, and it says here try adding return type. So its recommendation is this. And by the way, standard result result is where result is in the standard library. Um, and results, uh, same as option, you can just write result. You don't need to write uh, standard result. So we can just copy and paste that. And uh, now you can see this will return a result. And so this should give us, uh, my number should be a, uh, wait, actually, that should be. Let's see, where is it? Standard num parse in there. I think that's it. So you can see it. Uh, it's always helping you find uh, the exact path to this error. So let's try that again. And this time it has worked. So it it returned us. Uh, you know, this will be an, an OK, a five inside an OK. Uh, let's uh, use this in a second, but uh, let's do a parse int error. 
So let's uh, take that out here so we can make our code a little bit prettier. And then let's make a vec. So my vec equals vec, and we'll put a whole bunch of strings, stirs in there, uh, you know, five. Um, let's see if uh, it should also err on that. And uh, you know, 65. And then you know, 1789. And then we'll say for um, for number, actually let's say yeah, for, I know something I typed, no, I'm just gonna say number. For a number in uh, my vec, going to close that, and then we will match, um, let's see, match return number, um, number, <clears throat> and it will be one of two things. It will either be okay, which is a number, and we will say, uh, got uh, something, put the number in there, or it will be an error, and we will say, uh, let's also bring in the uh, the error message, and we'll say, uh, we'll just call it, call it E, and we'll say, uh, didn't work, and then do that, and then print out the E, and let's see what we get. And there we go. So go to five, didn't work, invalid digit found in string, invalid digit found in string. And so this is the uh, this is the error message that you get from this parse int error that, that somebody already made for us. And if you go into here, you can see that's where we imported it from. And click on source if you're curious. And you can see, uh, where is it? There we go, and it you know it uses all this uh, all this code that we have not learned yet, but it gives us these uh, these types of error messages, and we got the uh, invalid digit found in string. So it looked at that, matched it, and then it gave us this information. But we don't need to know that yet. All we need to know is that we do get some information back when we get an error, and uh, we give it a variable name, and we can print it out and. Uh, and it tells us exactly uh, where it went wrong.